Hey everyone, welcome back to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 for the PlayStation 1. I'm Insetic, with me on this is Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? And Matt Rocks 101. Hey, I'm Matt. Alright, so this time we're headed to Shipyard. Once again in this version, Shipyard and London are switched. We already saw London, we're going to Shipyard. And as I've mentioned a whole bunch of times, sure all of these levels have needed some redesigns, but... They're getting more and more redesigned to where Shipyard is radically different from its Gen 6 counterpart. There's maybe one area you'll recognize, but otherwise they kind of just took the liberty, took the theme, took the same time of day, and just ran with it to make a, a new level. Took the, uh, yeah, took all the brown. <laughs> yeah, all the brown. Mm -hmm. But yeah, see there's the scattering of trailers oh! and shit over yeah, on the, that? you know, on this the wall. This is almost similar. Yeah, the trailers and that's, well, that has a roof similar, in the other yeah, one. But yeah, then you're going to, when you go to the waterfront, yeah, then it's Oh, and uh, pretty, yeah, I don't know. Different. This is yeah. <laughs> unfamiliar now. Right. Uh, there's I mean, there's it, the, um, uh, what are they? Well, okay, there's nothing over here if you do that. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's water down there. I just yeah, wanted that's to check. where there was a boat last time. It's just water there now. Yeah, I just wanted to do a full body dip to check, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But, I, I mean, it definitely good to, to keep it simple and all that, given... Oh, there's the boat. Given, you know, both what you can do in this game and, you know, what this game needed to have. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just some... Man, this just makes me want to play Metal Gear Solid 2 again. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Oh, yeah, but I put a, you know, special lip trick on. I don't know. Nice. I was feeling it. I was oh, in yeah. a lip trick mood. I mean, because once again, just like with switching up your grinds, you can switch into a special lip trick. Huh. Uh, you, by this switching up your lip tricks way in this version. tinier. This map um, is really small, it feels like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, yeah, real fast, and again, very simple kind of set piece things. Like it's uh, oh, you know, Jesus. a bunch bunch of ramps around one or two big elevated things in the middle, rather than weaving in and out and having multiple floors and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there will oh, be. Oh uh, god, the timer! I mean, as long as you've started the combo. Yeah. You know, well. I was trying to have drama. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you never know when I'll fail or not. Uh-oh, teeth chattering. Ah, collar <sighs> tug, collar tug. I don't actually want to make my teeth chatter. No. Yeah, for some reason, I thought you were going to say teeth check. You know, like a vibe Teeth check. check. Uh -oh. Teeth check. Who's got teeth? <laughs> who's got Open teeth? Up those Just throw, start throwing punches to see who's got teeth and who doesn't. <laughs> you got a nice yeah. set of chompers in there. Yeah. 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 Ooh, nice and solid. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Took my yeah. fist very well. Don't yeah. mind. I'll be taking those. <laughs> my knuck Yeah. Oh, my knuckles are a little bloody after that one. All right. All right. They're a little toothy after that one. I see you no got that effects? dentine ice. Yeah. Oh. Why is that well, gap yeah. called no effects? Uh, uh, but uh, <laughs> what a weird name for a gap. Yeah. Anyway, along with this main area, there will actually be <laughs> a little sub area, sort of calling back to like Tony Hawk one or two level design, mostly two. I don't know why I said one. Um, <laughs> where you do one challenge and it'll basically open this door that's in the middle of this kind of main building and will take you to an extra area that has a bunch of half pipes, a bunch of elevated rails, and some challenges there. Oh, so that's why this feels so small. There's another part of this level. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it, you know, doubles the size. Oh, uh, okay. Or something. Yeah. There was that good old TNT again. <laughs> oh, but this is stupid. Yeah, if you're grinding that line, like... It, is something about like dipping the elevation right there will just crash you. Weird. So you need to like remember that's there and jump and avoid it. But I mean, like it sucks because you're on a good line, you're cruising, and yeah, that thing will just wreck you. I feel like I don't know if they did these levels in order, but like this level seems like they ran out of steam or something. Yeah, like, I mean, it feels like. These, it's got, I mean, like, nothing in here. Kind of like I mentioned, the levels get more and more, like, original until 
the next level where there is no PS1 zoo. You know, they just right. made a different level. So maybe it was like a we're doing it in order and we're trying to be more faithful at the start and then at the end we're just scrambling for works. time. It could yeah. also be that yeah. they, you know, they had some of the levels done already so they could base them on them. And otherwise they had just like like concept art and then eventually it was just like all right, you guys just do your thing. We're making the game. You're making the game. Yeah, you know. yeah. I just mean, make it whatever you think. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've kind of thought, you know, a few times, you know, fleetingly, about in this kind of game, it's, it's, uh, what am I trying to say? It's, <sighs> I know Hold what on, I'm wait. trying to say. Give me a second. Oh, man. In this kind of game, you don't really run into that thing where it's obvious that they, you know, ran out of steam or were rushed for time on this sort of thing because it's usually the same amount of content per level. You know, mm -hmm. it's always ten goals and seven of them are always the same. You know? Oh wait, wait, listen, listen, listen. Oh, I love that sound effect. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I never mention it, but you know, Matt, these these PS One oh. versions of Tony Hawk Three and Four would be up your alley just because it's a few more games where you get to hear oof, oof, yeah, know. oof, but, uh, oof. yeah, yeah, so in these kind of games where, you know, there's always ten or so challenges per level, and, like, in the ones, in the games before this, it was always, you know, three high score, skate, secret tape. I thought there should be a bowl uh, up here. Yeah. Uh, there's I, nothing I, up there. I don't think there'd really be enough room. Mm. But, but anyway, with, yeah, so with those, like, they can kind of just make, you know, put the levels wherever, and sure, you know, as you go along, maybe the levels get more sprawling, but, you know, the level geometry gets more demanding, but then you could set, you know, where the challenges are and how hard they can be. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, you could I, take the last level and you could just put all skate letters in one place if you want to make it, like, as, you know, l literally want to do that. Yeah. So... Yeah, so basically in these in these kind of games, you don't really see like, oh, we ran out of time sort of thing. Except for kind of the one example I could think of where that is obvious is Amped 3. Where that starts out with like three mountain ranges that are fully fleshed out with a whole bunch of different parts to them. And you can go to each one and there's a ton of challenges on each. And then once you're done with that, you know, you see like there's seven total mountain ranges you can go to. But the last four constitute Ooh. like the last third of the game? Maybe hmm. even the last less than that? Because you start going to these ranges where it's just one slope with like one drop point, a few challenges, like one thing to do for the story before you move on to the next one. You know, hmm. it's like after you put hours and hours into the first three, then you only have to be at each of these for 20, 30 minutes um, to finish up the main story kind of thing right. that's that's really like but extreme sports that's really the only one i could think of but do you see what i mean by like feeling like this feels a little incomplete like there's not that many like the only ramps are like on the side there's not that many like gap jumps and you know there just doesn't feel like there's that much to skate here if that makes sense just from looking at it i don't i haven't played it but it feels like yeah, it's just I mean, missing a lot of stuff i mean the lines yeah are, are obvious you know like for okay, this is here to do this kind of thing, I guess. There's yeah. not a lot you can really you just play around grind with. over in this area. That's about all you can do. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then again, Kona... Or not Kona, I'm sorry. Shipyard was also kind of a weaker level in the uh, PS2 version as well, so... Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Big spin! Uh-huh. Again? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can... Yeah. There's, like, only two special lip tricks in the Gen 5 version of this game. There's, huh. like, that and then the Dark Disaster. I mean, it's not like there were tons, you know, even in the Gen 6 versions, but it's just kind of funny that they... I think they lost some to where there were only two. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really... You know, everyone... They're doing all those documentaries about... Uh, Nah, they're doing all this documentary. They're doing that documentary about, you know, the beginnings of Tony Hawk. I'm really curious to see how this game got made, like this PS1 version. Yeah. I'd be really interested in what the developers had to say about making this. 
Because on the one hand, it's like really ambitious, and on the other hand, it feels like like so many corners were cut to make this thing. You know what I mean? Like with the super flat textures on a lot of stuff, and with this level feeling like it doesn't have everything in it. You know that all the rest of the levels had. I mean. Are, are you attributing that to laziness, or are you attributing that no, to, like, I'm, this needed to be done to do some of the I, other things I, they did? I don't... Like, I, I try not to attribute things to laziness when it comes to video game developing, because I know how... What a huge pain in the ass that is. And yeah. some things that people say are lazy are not necessarily, like, actually the dev's fault. Like, they either didn't have time, or they just straight up were not able to do something, and they weren't lazy at all. They just couldn't do it, you know? So... I don't want to say they were lazy, I just want to know how this turned out like this, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd put up with some uh, some weaker textures to get, you know, levels that are, you know, are open, have no time limit, and, yeah. and have, you know, more than, like, five goals in them. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, if, if this was, you know, I, I, I'd say... It'd probably be weaker if this was just another standard. You start each level with two minutes on the clock with a bunch of preset goals kind of thing. Hmm. Because then it would sort of clash between versions. Interesting. Um, and you... Yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> you know, it's not like they, you know, filled up every challenge with completely unique things. There's a lot of collect the high score, get combo, then get combo again. I mean, we talked about all these, but... yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I still feel positive about this. I'm, I'm still glad it's here. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. Uh, that's why I, I don't know. I just find it interesting because you don't really see stuff like this anymore. If that makes sense. So it's like I always wonder what had to be done to get something like this made. Like what sacrifices did they have to make? You know, like what was their priority? What was their main focus? You know, what was their goal? And because this is like one of those off ports. You know, like, you don't really get to hear, you know, the person that ported it to this or that. You know, you always hear about the guy that made the original one and never about what the dude who ported it had to go through to actually get it to run. I mean, you know? I think, you know, Vicarious Visions has done a lot of porting, so they know their shit. We've talked yeah. about that before on the series, but I think this was probably less of a port job and more of a, like, rework Mm -hmm. You know, like, this seems more, li more like they had a lot of original code here that doesn't carry over between the two games. Yeah. Well, um, I, I think that's interesting because you can even tell, like, whenever they do, like, the um, thing where you, um, like, what do they call that? Where you do the grind thing and then you switch grinds in the middle of it. I don't remember what I've that's just been now. calling it switching up your grinds. Because the switching up the grinds doesn't have unique animations like it does in the other game to switch them. They just, you literally restart the animation and then yeah. <laughs> you do it again, you know? So they obviously, they, they didn't have any sort of like animation thing or wasn't able to get one working before this was I'm guessing done. they probably didn't even bother. Oh, because yeah, it's not that bother. important, you know? Yeah. Like, there are a lot of more important things that they need to do and they need to have um... I mean, every moment of uh, every moment of every game needs to be functional for people to not say your game is busted. So, you know, Vicarious Visions has just like every game developer a huge um, a huge task on their hands trying to make something entertaining that also works because yeah. it's easy enough to make something that's busted. Anybody can do that. Yeah, I do yeah. that. And then the getting time. something to work takes technical knowledge, but also making it fun is the the real difficult part. Which is you know, which is why I was wondering like, what was their goal? In yeah, what's their process? What what mm -hmm. was their what was the thing they were like? We have to have this. Like, was it the open world thing? Was that what they decided they had to have? Like, what did they decide was most important, and what did they sacrifice to get it? I guess is what I yeah. always find interesting. Yeah. And what was, I guess, their time limit? You know, did mm -hmm. they have a full year? Did they only have 10 months? Did they only have nine months? And yeah, I guess, what was the amount of information they had from Neversoft? Because I could totally see what you'd pointed out earlier of like Neversoft themselves having very clear ideas for the first few levels, vaguer ideas of the later levels, and then like didn't have anything for Zoo when this needed to be made. Yeah. Um, At least that's what I'm assuming. It seems like that would be... 
Like, I, I don't know if they made these levels linearly, because sometimes you make something and that's the thing you put last in your game or whatever. The first right, thing you yeah, make I is mean, the last thing. Just, so I don't yeah, know if they, they made yeah. these linearly, but, like, I don't know. This level, to me, feels like it did either didn't have the amount of time or they just didn't have enough ideas or something to flesh it out all the way, if that makes sense. Because compared to, like, every other level so far, this one feels like it's the emptiest and the one that has the least amount of... I, stuff, I guess. I guess yeah. I'd like to see what you think of that sewers, then. Well, um, <laughs> is it better also, or I mean, worse? I mean, just not in an awful way. Just I've kind of thinking about it. You'll probably have some have the same complaints. Mm. And I mean, just I don't know. I don't want to harp on it too much, but like, there's really not a lot of bonus content either to this version. You know, there's yeah. like one secret level, one secret skater. They're both kind of fun little ideas, but more novelties. Um, I, I will say, though, like, for all the, you know, what sounds like criticism, they did not just, like, slap this together and call it a day. Yeah. They clearly put a lot of work into this port, which is, I guess, why I find it so interesting, because, I mean, that's not easy to make a, a port like that for the PS1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though they are, you know, even though they did already have the engine, like, the stuff that they did to this engine to get it to emulate the PS4 one, like, I, I just wonder how hard that could have possibly been to do that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ooh, that indie front flip makes me <laughs> a little <laughs> little sick. Huh, he really? spins so much. Yeah, he spins, and I'm always like, is he going to fall on his head, or is he going to land back again? Yeah. He... Uh, oh. I guess... <laughs> I don't know how much you're joking or not, but, like, for me, it's always pretty much obvious as soon as I start the animation whether I'm going to land it or not. I mean, I think because I never play these games, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could I, I could see that if you're coming at this, you know, blind. As a total amateur, yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah. As opposed uh, are, to you, the professional. We are pro skaters like you are. You're, yeah, you're I've a got pro that. skater. I've got that game sense of like, <laughs> oh, if I start this animation, I could totally land it or not up until I do something really stupid and crash something that I totally shouldn't That's have. when you gave your little brother the controller. Right. <laughs> I give my little brother the Ooh. controller uh, at the end of every 300,000 point combo I'm doing at the end oh. of every competition event. Uh. <laughs> Every time I crash a massive combo, he keeps, he keeps at the end of the, the controller competition, from you in the middle of it. Yeah, that's what he, it is. He keeps like punching me in the face and stealing the controller. I don't know why I'm getting bullied by my non-existent little brother, but you know, whatever. Mm. They could be jerks too. Uh, you know, they, you know, uh, uh, fuck, imaginary <laughs> friends. I kept wanting to say identity friends, but I'm like, <laughs> right. uh, imaginary friends could be total assholes as well. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I, I had some fun with the special trick setup. I probably made it a little harder than I than I you know needed to. Uh, you know, it probably would have been better to have like a grab you can hold rather than the indie front flip. But again, like the only front flip in the you know Gen Six version is like the stalefish front flip. So huh. kind of kind of pouring one out. To my uber tricks, uber tricks, Jesus, special tricks <laughs> being lost along the way. I was thinking SSX tricky with the game sets thing. Yeah, right, you know, in a second, because like I could watch people play. Fine, I'll just say it. I could watch people play SSX tricky, and if they go off pretty much any jump in the game and start pretty much any uber trick in the game, I will know whether they can land it or not. Maybe one in a hundred. I'm surprised by something they land like on the first frame possible. Or crash because it's like the last frame of the trick, you know, when they hit the ground. But most of the time, you know, some idiot goes off the, you know, goes off some jump and starts, you know, their character's signature trick. And I'm like, you dumb dumb, you're boned, you're fucked. And, you know, <laughs> you, I, just I love the play. progression there. You had, you dumb dumb, you're boned, you're fucked. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, I'm not going to start, you know, at. At, but at, you're gonna get there within two sentences, <laughs> right? I'm not gonna take very long. I mean, because they don't have that long before they hit the ground and crash. So yeah, that's true. But uh, so yeah, that was the shipyard. And so next up in the PlayStation One version is an exclusive level instead of the zoo. As I mentioned, we're going to the sewers instead. That's right, an entire sewer level for our extreme sports game. Yeah, might make work. So I'll see you then. <laughs> 